is the youth that are even supporting us. We are not the ones to even support. There are the ones. Anybody you see in this red chamber, in the green chamber, anywhere you see a politician in any office, he is in that office, you know, courtesy of the people. And who are the majority of the people? Largely the youth. And this even the issue, the, 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 the question of youth, I think we need to define who is youth, from what age. Because at my age now, I'm approaching 60, there are a lot of people that will look at me and uh, classify me as part of the youth in some areas. In some areas, I'm not one. And, uh, but the most important thing is the best support anybody can give, you know, is by way of law. And uh, the grand norm, uh, or the grand, uh, what do they call it, lawyers call it, uh, that is the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, I think has given the youth maximum support they require. Because if you look at uh, the age, you know, entry age, I think it has it said a good thing. For the president, it's just 40 years. And I don't think there is anybody that will say a man of a man or a woman of 40 years is, a, is an old man or an old woman. By any standard, you can't call, you know, a, a 40 year a old man or woman, you know, an old man or an old woman. Then you go to the Senate, it's 35 years. So I think. Uh, uh, as a parliamentarian, you know, and a politician, I think we have done uh, a lot, you know, to give the support. And uh, now the next is the mentorship. The mentorship, I think, it is all over the place if you look at it. You know, right from uh, where the politics, uh, maybe uh, right from the building blocks, that is the words. If we go back to our words, to this thing, you see, it is this the same youth that uh, <coughs> are running, uh, you know, almost everything we do. And it won't take long. Uh, it is the same people that will take over from us. Because once you become, that's the end of you. The next thing is, you are no more there. Yeah, by reason of retirement, by reason of death, by reason of just the resignation that I'm tired, I will not do it, whatever. So, yeah, as, far, uh, uh, as far as I'm concerned, I think uh, uh, we have given very, very good support. I won't say enough because the word enough uh, doesn't uh, have a place in this one because there is nothing like enough. It's, uh, it's an ongoing thing. You do it every day. So you have to keep supporting the youth, you know, and you have to keep encouraging them and uh, uh, the youth would, would uh, 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 encourage and support you. It's, it's an ongoing thing. It's, it's, it's something that happens every day. Uh, well, I think the best legacy you can leave to a people as far as I'm concerned is education. Yes, because when you empower somebody by uh, giving him a motorcycle, a car, you give him money, it's just like uh, this uh, old proverb that says, teach a man uh, how to do fishing. You know, don't give him fish. So if you are giving him a bag of rice, you give him this, give him that, I think you are just giving him fish and you are not teaching him how to do fish. So, uh, Part of what I would want to see, you know, is uh, as a senator is to see, you know, how we can raise our literacy level in our state, you know, to an acceptable level because where it is now is quite unacceptable as far as I'm concerned. But that is not to say, again, we will not look at other issues, you know, militating against, you know, attaining uh, those things. So there are a lot of things, and uh, this is where state gov uh, governments, you know, uh, comes in. You know, we need to do it. But again, uh, that is not to say that it's just the government. No, the constituents too need to appreciate, you know, uh, uh, the importance of education in the life, you know, of a people. Uh, the youth, I think, as the main building blocks of this thing, and the youth as the owner, you know, of this legacy we are on. Because whether we like it or not, whether we mentor them or support them, we, whether we support them or we don't support them, whether we mentor them or we don't mentor them, we have to give way, you know, and they will take over. So the only, the importance of the mentorship and the support is you would mold them in such a way that they will be ready, you know, to take over and make meaningful con uh, uh, contribution. It's just like when you don't educate anybody, even if the whole state are stuck in literacy and everything, they must have their governor, they must have their three senators, they must have their number of House of Representatives. But what quality of uh, members are they going to send to the center? What members are, quality of members are they going to uh, elect as, 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 as their governor? So what is the net uh, effect of what is going to happen? Now, it will be a blind man 
you know, leading maybe a group of blind men or blind men leading uh, educated ones. So that is the essence. So the, the, the youth needs to know that the future belongs to them and uh, begin to ask politicians to do for them what would improve their lives. Not just giving you bread to eat today and uh, that is the end of it. No, you have to support the politician by way of telling him that, look, what we want is education and uh, going out to support the politician. And that is why when you ask the first question, you say to support. I say, who needs the support? Because maybe as far as I'm concerned, I require the support more than the youth. What support do I need? I want somebody to appreciate what I am doing. Where I am wrong, I will accept if you come and say, look, Sanatu, this is not what we, elect, uh, 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 we send you here to do. So there are a lot of uh, things, my sister, that uh, uh, we need to put right, and I think the youth have a very vital role to play you know, in shaping our system. Uh, not necessarily you know, because of me as the senator or someone, but because of himself. Because whether uh, anybody like it or not, uh, that same small boy that you are seeing in the next five, ten years is the one that is going to occupy this office. Some of you are even <laughs> already ready you know, to occupy it. So you go back to your localities, you contest this thing. You know, the political parties are open. You don't need any, uh, what do you call it, godfatherism because before you can rise. All you need to do is just have trust in your God. You know, do the right thing. And when the time comes, you contest. And uh, if God says you will win, you win. And if you don't win, yeah, uh, losing is not an entirely new thing in politics. Uh, some, anybody you see in politics, if he stays long, he would win or he would lose, as the case may be. If he didn't lose before, tell him that if he stays long, he's going to lose one day. If he is a winner, ask him, maybe he has lost before. I started with uh, uh, a failure. I contested, I lost in 2007. I contested in 2011 and I won.